Hello everyone, welcome to Charlotte and Zeke. Play Pokemon Shield and do the champion match thingy. Do you want to say hello, Charlotte? Hello, Charlotte. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye, Z. I'm done. <laughs> there he is, the windiest boy of all. <laughs> My hair doesn't get to move. Why does his? Because your hair's like strapped down. <clears throat> the tents still air on the pitch, except it's not because look at his cape. Yeah, well, I mean it's somewhat still. Like <laughs> this this side of the line, it seems pretty still. <laughs> the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? Sure. But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can it can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can even feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. Cool. We're going to have a real champion time. Oh, uh, did you have to? I'm the Gals Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard, and the rest of our team that I'm not naming, <laughs> will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's on the big screen? Hello there, Leon and Cheek. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Gala's future, of course. What a strange sentence. Yeah. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. You could have just waited. <laughs> Lee, Jake. Yeah, I'm assuming it's you. <laughs> <laughs> that video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really put this crazy stunt involving some problem a thousand years in the future? Did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some sort of to solve some problem in a thousand whatever, we're both fucking shit at reading okay. today. Charlotte? Oh sorry. I thought you were just gonna skip. No, I want you to <laughs> I want you to read. I've I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realised what the chairman intended to do before before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. He's such a fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah he is. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? You can just take a taxi. Yeah. I want to help my brother, Cheek. I've got to. I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Just fucking try, baby. But what? I can't even do that. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark. And it was day. <laughs> ages and ages ago. What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did we even hear that name? Back in that. God, I know the all of these of the things. The statue of the hero in Modestoke. Sonia said something about that back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there are actually two heroes and all that. Still, those who managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and the shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try and find him, Cheek. But where do we start looking? In the slumbering world, wield. <laughs> That's it, Cheek. Sure it's got to be in the slumbering world. I don't know how to say it still. <laughs> <laughs> that illusion you tried to fight off that day must have been one of those Pokemon. They're supposed to be sleeping there, right? Yeah. Let's get back to the slumbering world. Yep, okay. 
head out to the pitch at Wyndham Stadium if you're ready. I was ready, and then the chairman <laughs> exploded it. Oh, it's Professor Son on you. Son on you. Cheek and harp? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match, because I don't care. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Uh, I don't know who Mama was. No, me either. Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chair... <coughs> the chairman saw to that and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wild slash wield? <laughs> <laughs> well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. They're calling it the darkest day. It's thrown everything into disarray. Good lyrics. <laughs> I think that's still you. Oh. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Nope. Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the storm that nearly brought the Gallic region to ruin in ancient times. Hi, Rayhan. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you here for, Cheek? Oh, you know, just hanging out. It's, yeah. I suppose if the legends are true, then the Sword and Shield Pokemon would be able to prevent the Dark State from coming to pass. Then maybe just what we need to beat back the Black Storm. What's she giving us? One more match of vibes. Oh, yeah. um, that's actually useful. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Have fun, you two! Yeah, don't die! All that matters is you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer, after all. I know. Can you say that to my face? Ready for this, Cheek? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We both grown loads stronger. Fog won't beat us. Yeah. Going into the forest after that wuthu that day? That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon we're about to see... What we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Sure. Another page of exposition. Here we go. There's so much exposition. <laughs> Just so much. Like, I get it. It's an RPG and, like, you're gonna forget a lot. Hey, little bug boys. Yay. I gotta see him. Hello. <laughs> Look at your stretched out Y axes. <laughs> Sooty kill. Well, like, in terms of, like, plot and stuff to remember... Like, there ain't a lot to remember. No, because nobody shuts up about it mostly. <laughs> like, remember that one other time you were here? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It was a really good opening. Ah, whatever. Kind of a lot of nothing. Yeah. Oh, there's some mooners. There's some mooners. Many more mooners. There's a <laughs> Galarian wheezing. Why is that in a forest? Why not? Oh. Why is there a bird in a forest? That's weird. Birds don't live in forests. Well, they live in cities and run taxi services. Yeah, it's see. how nature intended. Ooh, I do. Actually, I'll go down. Yeah, did I. Is that a stun fisk? Yeah. Yeah, if you keep going down. Yeah. And right. Yeah. Yeah, over that. Over this? Yeah. Yay! Ah. Why do I even fucking bother? <laughs> Magikarp's the greatest. I like him plenty, but... <laughs> I guess I just expected something more <laughs> this time. What's that? <laughs> Elixir. Hey, oh, Beetle. Who's a good old Beetle? Oh, there he is. Who's a good Spike? <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Murder. Frisk. Oh no, he's gonna steal our stuff. Not on my watch. Oh, we can't get away. Oh crap, why did I fight him? <laughs> oh, that was fine. I'm pretty sure we'll get the chance to heal again anyway. Yeah, the game's usually pretty good about convenient healing. And some force. Are. I knew there was a good TM over here, I just couldn't remember what it was. Ah, uh, can anyone learn that? Because... 
snow. Well. Oh boy. <laughs> Those wheezings <laughs> just popping up is so silly. Watching him turn with that smoke is so <laughs> silly as well. Just make it a particle effect. What? Can I go down here? No, nope, there's nothing there. Okay. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. You could argue it's better, you got further. We get it, you vape. <laughs> this is all just hop. Yeah, he's just he's just <laughs> like sent out a fucking fat cloud of vape juice. Mm. Garfield <laughs> <laughs> Leonard <laughs> They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon, I knew it. Garfield and Leonard. <laughs> Garfield and Leonard. <laughs> and they're gone. Well, that's what I've got a nickname, mine, Garfield. <laughs> hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? Stop fucking around. What? Come off it, Sonia. You must have seen that, right? They were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There's no one here but the two of you. I lost the plot ages ago. What? I can't lose the plot. People keep reminding me of it. <clears throat> Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. It's called a book. <laughs> Read it, you fucking idiot. Mention the sword Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weld slash wield sometime long, long ago. Really? Why were they in books from other regions and not in books from about our region? That's really strange. Yeah. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, did we manage to find that Pokemon again? Maybe the sword and shield those two used to carry are still here too. That's a... That's a reach. It's a reach, but sure. Hey, look, a Magikarp. Yay. <laughs> I'm not even bothering. <laughs> it's a Magikarp. Yeah, that one would have been shiny. Hop, I'll be back in just two seconds. <laughs> I gotta check yeah, something. And you spend like the next five days there fishing for magic up. It's an emergency, I know. I've gotta get the shiny. I'm <laughs> shiny hunting, leave me alone. Would you take a look at that cheek? Now that's something you don't see every day. A shiny magic up. <laughs> <laughs> this place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. It is a pretty place. It is, yeah. Come on then, hop me old skip. <laughs> Which piece of shit do you want? <laughs> well, we already decided back at the hot spring. Oh, yeah. See that cheek? The legends really were true. Shiny magic harp are all around us. Wow. That's why the water's kind of orange in places. Yeah, just glowing. You have a rusty shield. Did it really have to make that noise? <laughs> yes. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Because you took the shield, therefore I don't have a choice. Yeah. It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. Look at its what? I don't know if these rusty old things really will be able to stop the darkest day, but I guess well, it can't hurt to can't hurt to have them along. Okay. Let's hope it does something. And he picks it up and it just <laughs> <laughs> to dust. And it's like, oh, I didn't look at it funny. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to help Lee. Okay. All right. Now we have to walk all the way back out. Can we not? Fly? No, I don't think you can, because like, you're in a forest. Where do we need to go next? The uh, Hammerlock. Hammer... Ah. Oh wait, hang on! Mm -hmm. Key item escape rope! Ah. Do we spin? No, the frame rate just... No, no, we spin! We spin, and the frame rate <laughs> dies. Oh, that's good. What was that over there? Oh, it's just a rolling sheep. Whee! Wrong button, Zeke. Right. Let's fly away. Oh, 
you ready for this? Sure, I guess. <laughs> Sup, bro? Well, if it isn't Cheek and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You made it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose, thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Gather's future? It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. Can't follow how that's supposed to work at all. Well, I don't care if I'm going up against <laughs> the darkest day, or the chairman, or whatever. I wish you just ended it there. <laughs> well, I don't care. Conversation over. <laughs> I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. I'm not. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. We've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Gala region? Sure. That's where I'm going now, idiot. You stood in the way, move. Our greatest ever champion, the greatest ever challenger, along with his friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teaming up against, the, all teaming up against the Darkest Day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hamelock Stadium with you. Shall you? Shall Is the dog snoring? Yeah, she's snoring. I but hope that picks up on the mic. <laughs> oh my god, it's Bondage Lady. Yay! You were Jim. You were yeah. there. Jim Challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue my Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know it's this selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going to happen. Sure. We're, we're pretty happy to do whatever, really. Yeah. We have to basically following Hop. That's a big egg. Mmm. All Pokemon come from eggs. What? What is all this? We need to help Lee. You can leave. Yeah. The big boy's here now. <laughs> and what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Kicking your ass. Yeah. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. Must I explain myself? No, you really don't have to. Allow me to explain <laughs> myself. From your perspective, your stupid, idiot, child, brainlit perspective, I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand. I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Gala. Oh shit! See, the whole red light thing is something you have to remind us of, because my god did they skim over it and tell us to go away. Yeah. Also, the music, god damn. Yeah. He brought a whole orchestra. <laughs> a Latin orchestra. <laughs> okay, so he's a good choice here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just jump on it. Sonic spin! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, 
how was that not faster than us? Isn't that one really fast? No, that one's slow. Oh, okay. The um the uh, uh the other one, the one that Shalmet turns into, is I speedy. I want to say Excelgor, but I think that's wrong. It's Excelgor. You're right. It is Excelgor. Okay. Secret level fifty-six, just like our shirt. It's yes. destiny. Nice. Stop sending out. <laughs> No, no, he can keep doing this. This is fine. Like, sure, he can keep doing it, and I support his action to do it, because it makes it easier for me. And Sonic. Mm. Ooh, he lived. Oh, I guess he's pretty heavy. Yeah. But still, like, it's times for a week to fire. Curses. We'll kill it. I know we will. Man, do you remember when um we played... Back when Pokemon Black and White was new, mm. there was... um. There was fan translations of the original games, like the Japanese games, because they didn't get released globally at the same time back then. Yeah. And we were playing this um, fan translation very excitedly, and I've only found a shiny fucking arrow. Ball. <laughs> True, yeah. I called it Barb's. I think I still got it about because I was doing it on like, um, on like, you know, uh, Ace card. So I was playing it on my actual DS. Mm. So I was able to trade him to other games and stuff. I should look to see if there's still a boot. There might still be a boot. There might still be a boot. If I'm Pokemon home around and whatnot. Might be able to slide them on in there. That could be cool. Come on. Crash him with your heat. Dude, keep jumping on all his stuff. It's working. <laughs> Jump on his stuff. Yeah. Ooh, flame body. Music. It's mad, right? Mm. I kind of love it. <laughs> Do you know, Sussie's got a really cool ability that. Uh, not, not our one. Yeah. Um, When it gets hit by water moves, it maxes out its speed stats. Oh. Like it gets. Like it gets steam powered. Yeah. I think that's what the ability's <laughs> called. It's like steam engine or steam power or something. That's pretty cool. He's only got two things left, so I'm going to do this. Oh, okay. I can't believe we can do that here. Well, it's um, all the Dynamax energy from Eternatus. Yeah, but we're underground. It's a big fucking place. <laughs> That's all I mean, is like, I can't believe there's room in this underground chamber. Oh, it's huge though. Like, it, it, like, it stretches to the horizon of the <laughs> underground. Ouch. Zap. Did it live? It with... lived. It's got sturdy, doesn't it? I no, no, <laughs> does it? No, I'm just no, unfortunate. It's just a jerk. How do we get a full restore? Oh, oh, you picked one up. I wouldn't use that here. I, I just keep attacking. Like you said, he's got two things left. No, I just don't want to waste our Dynamax, because that's going to go first. Yeah. Ah. Save. The only explosion doesn't do some damage. It could if we used, like, Drift Flume. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, like they're steel types. He's used all steels. What's his last one? I'm not telling you. Okay. We can just break, break this asshole. Yeah. Ooh. My ears! I don't have any! <laughs> must have something going on in there. Probably, yeah. He's hearing commands. Maybe don't remember what... Oh, yeah! Yeah. Of course. Shut up, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzling Gleam? I mean, it's a fairy move. Oh, wait, no, it's special, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, screw it. Oh, Lucifer. Oh ho, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. Copperaja. There it is. Big elephant. He's, he's gonna go big. Let's just wail on him. Yeah. 
I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. It's a cereal box. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. Yeah. I like it though. <laughs> That's Mindstorm. I don't think we have a fighting type. Ah, crap. I didn't expect him to have that. No. You know, damn well we'll use Iron Head if we send out Lucifer as well. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to send out Isaac to get some damage on it. Okay. Water will be fine on it. Might even crit it a few times. Oh, imagine. <laughs> oh, I didn't do much. I'm so worried it'd be like, how did you crit? <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh, there was sunlight! Oh, of course. There's sunlight that I set! No wonder that water move did so little. Darn it. Hmm. He's, he's only got one more big turn. So let's wait until that's over for Lucifer, right? Hmm. Uh, come I, on, Spike. Am, I am pretty sure he's got Iron Head as well, though. I'd, I'd be surprised if he didn't. Yeah, just, just hit it. Yeah. He's used Max Mindstorm, so our Psychic is boosted by the terrain. Alright then. Hopefully this move will turn things around for me. G-Max Steel Surge. Spike. Shot pointed pieces of metal around the stadium. Okay, so spikes. No, I've looked this one up. Oh. It's different. Um, it's he like he's the only Pokemon that can create a steel type stealth rock. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was interesting too. I don't know how good it is or anything, but it's cool. Heavy slam. Okay, so assuming he's got that and not. Uh, Iron Head. Yeah, uh, me too. Go on, Lucy. Drove run or Psycho Cut? I gotta go for the super effective move. Okay. That's it, come on. Hit him. Ooh. Miss! Yeah. Live! <laughs> Please. They ain't living. Oh. We might want to max revive again. Yeah. Ah, uh, Lucifer hasn't been doing great either. No. What is it with us and our Pokemon always being not ideal? <laughs> What's Caparage's special defense like? I have no idea. Okay. I'm gonna get Sooty out though. Because Sooty has been the MVP of the whole damn know, game. right? Imagine if I did take him off the team. <sighs> Just a box, you saint. Go for it. Oh, damn! Oh! I can't believe it did so much. Yay. Don't give us a slow clap. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Didn't you beat Hop like five minutes ago? I don't know if he did. Hop just seemed to be stood around. Most impressive, Cheek. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armour coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches. But I think I can stop talking now. 
Let me talk some more. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to... Oh, you're right. Yeah. I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discourage? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organised. All right. Also, just to recap, is Rose the princess and Leon his knight in shining armour? Definitely. Okay. And next time on Charlotte and Zeke, we'll go see Eternatus and the champion and stuff. Here we go. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.